guys and welcome back to my beautiful nail art channel today I have a new design to share with you guys of course and if you want to know how to create these beautiful holographic Moroccan nails then you should continue watching I will be using three different colors from the Isla nail polish spring collection this is a beautiful goldish color and it's called Vashilis and it is absolutely amazing and it looks so gorgeous in real life. Here we have a beautiful blue color, this is called High Tide and if you like sparkles then you should definitely buy this blue color, it is just amazing and it sparkles a lot so keep that in mind. <laughs> I will also be using this beautiful green color. This is called the Bermuda Bris and it is also one of my favorites from this collection. If you want to see the swatches of these colors then you should head over to my Instagram and check out the swatches over there. Enough talking, let's start and make the mani. First start by applying your favorite base coat. I am using the Unpeel of Base Coat since I want to peel the mani of when I'm done. <laughs> Now you can see that I am applying a pink color to my nail and we all know that that's not how the finish uh, look is because I am using a black for that so the reason why I applied the pink now is because at this moment I did not have any clue on how my nails would be so I just painted on pink you know and then I did some testing on my uber mat and figured out that black was a much better choice so I had to repaint all of my nails now it's time to grab our nail art silicone mat. Mine is from Uberchic Beauty, as you can see. I have the small one, but you can also get it in a large size. And keep in mind that almost anything sticks to this mat, especially dog hair, as you can see. Now that we have our silicone mat ready, we can find our nail vinyls. And these vinyls are from What's Up Nails. You can get different types of Moroccan vinyls, some of them have a thick line and others have a thin line like mine. So I will link two options down below so you can see for yourself which one you like better. And now peel off the vinyl and place it onto the mat. Make sure you press down everything so it is stuck to the mat. And then paint on the colors you're going to use and if you don't have holographic polishes you can of course just use regular cream polishes or whatever polishes you have of course and it is very important that you have measured your nail length so you know that all of the three colors will fit your nail perfectly when you have painted on all the colors then you can grab some tweezers and peel off the vinyl it's very important that you let this dry without the top coat for at least three minutes so you don't risk dragging the design all over the mat when you apply a top coat. After 10 minutes my decal was dried so I just took some tweezers and peeled off the decal. And here is uh, how it looked like, very pretty of course. So you should also have something similar to this when you are done. And now I am just applying some liquid latex around my cuticles in case it gets messy. It's better to be safe than sorry, right? Now that every cuticle is protected with some liquid latex, we can go ahead and place our decal to the nail. It's important that you have a sticky nail surface when you are placing the decal to the nail. So if you don't have that, you can just add a top coat or uh, some clear polish before you stick the decal to your nail. Remove the parts of the decal that you don't like with a pair of scissors and then soak your brush in some 100% acetone and start pressing around the corners and edges of the nail to smooth everything out. This is very important to do especially at the tip of your nail so you don't risk having any bumps or clumps in your mouth. Now that the surface is smooth, we can go ahead and peel the liquid latex off if you have used some, of course. And if you have some air bubbles in your mani like me, don't worry, they will eventually go away after you have applied a layer of top coat. Because the top coat will dissolve into the mani, so it will make sure that no air bubbles are left. And here is the finished result for today's look. What do you think about this beautiful holographic Moroccan inspired nails? 
Oh, that was a long title. <laughs> but yeah, please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.